Welcome back. I'm Alex Kramer. It's now time to take a look at your latest business headlines. To help break all of that down in a whole lot more, we're going to welcome in president of Strelmark LLC, business development consultants, Hillary Fordwich. Okay, so Hillary, so here's the latest on Boeing's union strike. So three days ago, we talked about this, more than 30,000 machinists walked off of the job at Boeing over wage disputes, working additions, and then job security. Now, analysts and labor experts are now suggesting if negotiations remain deadlocked, Boeing will struggle to recoup from production delays and share price hits. Okay, I, I don't know, Hillary, could this be the beginning of the end for Boeing or will the Fed bail them out? I mean, we saw what happened with the, the auto industry bailout. It, it, it's a disaster. That's not a good thing for the federal government to step in. Do you see this happening? Will this continue to happen with Boeing? Yes, actually, it is a ghastly situation. One thing I will actually know, because I was doing a lot of research uh, on this, and I, Alex, you know, in 1940, the largest aircraft manufacturer in the U.S. was Curtis. Um, you know, maybe it's just that I'm not, you know, always in this in this space, but I hadn't even heard of Curtis. Yeah. They're no longer even in existence, and they were the largest in 1940. So I'm not going to predict the end. I'm not going to say that, be that drastic. But I, what I will say is for every month, this is 1.3 billion loss for Boeing. Boeing needs to settle this really fast because they're not just, it's not just about this labor issue, don't forget. They're under investigation for safety issues and a number of other issues. So it's very important that they get this settled quickly. The last time that the uh, union went on strike was 2008, and that lasted, I believe, it was for, I think it was 57 weeks. I mean, it was a long time. The other thing that I think is actually really sad that a lot of the focus isn't on, do you know for every job that Boeing has in the Northwest region, it affects four other jobs, whether it's wow. the janitors that aren't in the union, whether it's the local restaurants or the other. So they're really affecting a lot of other people who like them. They're always pointing to the CEO and they're always saying you know, about, I mean, I must agree, his $39 million package. <laughs> but what about those four other workers yes. that aren't in the union? They're being affected. Their livelihoods are at stake. So really, it's a lose, lose, lose situation nobody's really gaining. This needs to be settled as fast as possible. That CEO is new in his seat. It will be a feather in his cap if he gets this settled quickly. Yeah, and speaking of that money, um, reportedly he just bought a $4.2 million home in Seattle. So he's doing okay. But yeah, the PR surrounding Boeing is not good right now. And I personally think that just fi filing for Chapter 11 would be the best for them because having these continuous federal bailouts is using taxpayer it's, money. Yeah. The auto industry used $25 billion of taxpayer money about a decade ago. We definitely don't want that. Hillary Fordwich, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Such a pleasure having you on. Pleasure always. Thank you, Alex.